Hi, welcome to the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Angela and all of the places you can find me online should be linked in the description box just below this video. I'm most active over on Instagram where you'll find me as both Rainbow Ange and Yarn and Yarns, the same name as the channel. Here on the channel you'll usually find me chatting about my adventures in knitting and crochet and spinning. This week's episode is going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm mostly going to be talking about travel projects because while you are watching, I am either going to be just about to leave or maybe in the middle of a week uh, away, taking a little holiday with James and his parents. Um, so I'm hoping to record a little bit of um, footage at various points throughout the week as I prepare to go away and think about what projects I want to take with me. So I thought I'd try and cobble together a video and if I can figure it out, schedule it to publish on YouTube while I'm away. <laughs> we'll see, you may never see this. <laughs> I'm planning on casting on some new projects, which um, if you've been following me for a while and you know me well, you know I have no need of new projects. Um, my current tally for anyone who is interested is 21 projects works in progress uh, so yeah there's really no need for me to cast on anything new except that I'm going on holiday and it's my birthday <laughs> so you know if you can't treat yourself to some new cast on zen when can you <laughs> I'm planning on taking away with me and I know this is a ridiculous amount for a week but um, if you've watched my videos you know how um, <sighs> squirrel minded I am in that I get easily distracted and I like to have the option of working on different things so um, for my week away I'm taking two sweaters, a shawl, a hat and probably a pair of socks. <laughs> I'm packing more projects than clothes I think. <laughs> anyway uh, I thought I'd just chat to you about those projects um, so I am going to be casting on a new shawl and I'm going to be using two beautiful skeins of yarn that were gifted to me by a lovely friend um, in a recent package that I received um, and these are they aren't they gorgeous together um, so this is from Easy Knits and I've never knit with Easy Knits I've never owned any Easy Knits before actually that is a small eye I think I had a mini skein from Easy Knits in a pair of socks uh, yes I did I picked up a mini skein for a pair of socks once um, but this is my first kind of real foray into Easy Knits yarn and this is um, the Leaf Crackle colorway um, in their Cherish range which is 80% superwash merino 10% cashmere 10% nylon so soft and squishy um, in this gorgeous gorgeous orange colorway so there's lots of rusty oranges there's some um, yellowy oranges there's some sort of almost red parts of this skein it's absolutely beautiful and it's so soft and squishy so that is going to be the first color and along with that my friend also sent me um this beautiful skein of yarn um i don't know what the fiber content is but i imagine it's similar because it feels very very similar and it turns out that she actually dyed this herself um which makes it even more precious even more special and it's beautiful um it's kind of um a brownie kind of color with flecks of um red and um sort of really deep dark browns there's also some sort of pinky colors and some sort of little specks of really sort of pale beigey brown almost virgin on the natural color um through that skein so I'm really excited to cast those on in a shawl together and I'm going to be knitting the drifter pattern which is a pattern by Tammy Gore and um, if I remember I shall pop a picture in here of what the drifter looks like. So yeah this is going to go onto my needles and um, I would like to get this wound up and cast on um, before I go away. I also need to pick out a project bag for it. Um, it's knit on, I'm trying to, I've got the pattern in front of me although not, I didn't print out a picture so I can't just hold it up and show you. Yeah it's knit on four millimeter needles so I'm going to wind these gorgeous skeins up and hopefully just get started um, so that I'm in a rhythm with it before I go travelling.
morning. I've got a few minutes before I head off to work this morning. So I thought I'd show you the progress that I made on the drifter shawl to get it going. I cast on last night and knit a few rows and then I've knit a few rows while I've been enjoying my tea this morning. So it's well, well and truly established and for this first section I don't really need to refer to the pattern. It's quite an easy two row pattern repeat. Um, this is what I have so far. So I'm using this beautiful um, hand dyed by my friend Jeanette, hi Jeanette if you're watching, yarn um, for the main colour. And then I'll be contrasting in um, this lovely leaf crackle colourway by Easy Knits, which is these gorgeous sort of rusty oranges through to reds and um, some real sort of what I would call a true orange um, in there too. The cake's come a little bit scruffy while I've been carrying it around in the bag. But this yarn that um, my friend dyed has is knitting up absolutely beautifully. Um, there's these gorgeous brown is sort of the main colour and then you get these lovely sort of pops every now and then of a sort of raspberry pinky red colour um, and then some lighter tones of the brown too. So yeah, I've got my knitted thong <laughs> which hopefully will grow up to be a lovely shawl. I'm sure it will. So um, now that's established, I can put it away. I've got my basket ready. I'm going to... Um, fill up my basket full of lovely projects to take with me um, and make sure that I don't take more than fits in the basket. <laughs> That's the plan anyway. I will work on it at some point next week when I'm somewhere on my holidays relaxing. My thoughts are also turning to my spinning for my vacation. I went through my fibre stash and picked out a few little bumps of sample fibre these were all from Woolly Knit and I'm not sure of the fibre content um, but I imagine that the majority of them are probably merino. Um, I'm going to take a fair amount of fibre with me although um, I don't imagine for one minute I'll get through all of it. I'd rather have way too much and um, not get to half of it than not take enough and run out and be sat there with nothing to do with my hands. So I'm going to take my really basic drop spindle, which I affectionately call Rosie. Um, this was the very first drop spindle I ever purchased. It came in a starter kit from Hilltop Cloud. Um, and I've used this spindle a lot. Um, it's really nicely balanced and I don't fear dropping it or it getting damaged. It's just a sturdy little basic spindle. Um, so that will be coming with me. Rosie shall be coming on holiday. And then I've picked out a few different bumps of fibre. So I've got some gorgeous uh, deep purple. I've got this sort of variegated orange fibre. And then I have this one, which is a kind of, it reads as purple, but it's got lots of different colours in. There's sort of greens and oranges in there too. And then I did have one whole bag, um, which were sort of various greens and a sort of silver grey. Um, so I might actually end up plying some of these together to mix the colours up a little bit. So this is the plan for all of the fibre that's coming with me this week. As I say, I'm pretty sure I'll only get through maybe one or two of these bumps at the most. And as with the Drifter Shawl, I might actually get one of these spins on the go um, just to get over that hurdle of starting something. I don't know about you, but sometimes once something is on the needles or on the spindle, it's much easier to pick up. And um, there isn't that extra hurdle of, oh, I've got to get that project started. So yeah, I think I'll pick out one of these bundles of fluff and start spinning on that at some point today. <laughs>
as fun as casting on and starting new projects is, I do have a big pile of whips. <laughs> Works in progress. I should probably clarify that. Doesn't sound good if I say I have a great big pile of whips, does it? <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> um, so I am going to take a sock with me and uh, one of my sweaters in progress. I was going to start a new pair of socks. I was going to cast on the um, Cheviot handspun that I made a few weeks ago, but I've got several pairs of socks already on the needles and I started a new one on Monday uh, because I needed some just plain knitting when I went to catch a movie. Um, so I thought I might just take the vanilla sock that I started on Monday with me. And this one um, is actually really fun for me to work on. Um, the yarn that I've picked up, it's from my um, bucket of 12 commercial sock yarns that I started at the beginning of the year. I haven't spoken about this much recently because it's sort of fallen by the wayside. But if you followed me for a while, I wanted to try and work through some of my commercial sock yarn stash. So I randomly bagged up 12 um, lots of yarn and stuck them in a bucket with the idea that I would pull out one each month and try and knit a pair of socks. Um, it's not been super successful. I think I've finished, obviously we're on month eight now. I think I've finished four pairs of socks. I've got two others aside from this one that I've just cast on waiting to be cast on and a couple um, already on the needles that haven't been worked on for a while. So yeah my sock mojo has been a bit low recently uh, but I thought um, going away and we often um, get out the deck of cards in the evening and play a game of cards so I thought a vanilla sock would be great for um, evening knitting or um, just in my bag knitting perhaps um, there might be times where we're sat in a cafe having a cup of tea and I can add a few rows to a sock. Um, so I started on Monday this ball of um, Zalba ball, which is uh, a crazy Zalba ball. Um, and the colourway for anyone that is interested is 1702. I don't know um, whether it's still available. Uh, the label says Kleiner Fuchs. So whether that's the colourway name, I do not know. I do not speak German. Don't, probably my camera's not going to uh, sort of focus on that. No. But that's the, the colourway. And uh, that's the, the label for the Zalba ball. Uh, I got the leg almost finished um, on Monday. So that's quite fun. So as you can see, it's a, a sort of riot of rainbow colours, which is uh, just my thing. And I'm really enjoying knitting this and seeing how it works up. Um... I had another Zalba ball in my stash, which I've recently de-stashed because uh, I started knitting with it and I didn't really like the yarn. Um, but this crazy Zalba ball um, is, seemed to have been plied slightly differently than the original Zalba ball. And um, it's got obviously all the fun marling and things. So I thought I'd keep this one and give it a go. Um, and I'm glad that I did because yeah, it's just really fun to see all of these sort of mild colors come together. I'm hoping, I didn't rewind this ball, which I usually do, so I'm hoping there's no splits or knots in the ball because I think that would potentially sort of spoil this uh, colour progression that uh, you get through the Zalba ball so far. Um, I'm going to pop in a um, bit of waist yarn for the heel, um, just for that very reason. I don't want any sort of really obvious um, distinct lines. Um, it, the, the marling's really nice, so I don't want to interrupt that. But yeah, I'm going to take that with me. And this project is living in a project bag that I haven't used for a while. Uh, it's a bit gruesome. It's my zombie head project bag. <laughs> uh, here it is. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> Look away if uh, you're frightened of zombies, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, that one's going to be um, popped in the basket and coming with me. The other project that I hope to take with me is my Midsummer Meadow sweater, which is probably not a surprise to anyone. I am pretty obsessed with this sweater at the moment. I've got a few things to do to make it travel ready and I'm almost there. So when I showed this on my Monday episode, I had um, knit one sleeve, so this sleeve finished, and I had a few rows left to finish the second sleeve. I've actually done all of the knitting on that second sleeve. As you can see, it's barely a sleeve at all. It's just a little cap sort of sleeve, really. Um, so all I need to do now is the I-cord cast off. So I'm definitely going to get that done today. And then I think before it goes back on the needles, I am going to block it out. I've got 
a few days left before we travel it's Wednesday today and we're leaving Saturday night so I think that should be uh, plenty enough time in this warm weather although it's a bit showery and rainy it's still quite warm and muggy I think it should be plenty of time to get this sucker dried um, so I'm going to do that and then hopefully before we leave I'll also get it back on the needles and get my markers back in for the um, pattern repeats um, because that really helps keep this project relatively mindless if I put the markers in every few pattern repeats then I can always keep track of myself as I'm going around the rounds to make sure that I'm still following the pattern um, and that worked really well for me when I was working on this in the shop so I'd really like to get that done before we leave on Saturday uh, and then hopefully it will become fairly easy knitting after that. Um, the one other thing that I need to do is just wind up some more yarn for that project and then it will be travel ready so hopefully by the end of the day this will be all packed up and waiting patiently in the basket to come away with us. I thought I was going to take two more projects away with me on my trip but the first project was a sweater for James and the yarn comes in giant well it comes in giant hanks this one I've obviously wound into a ball and as you can see it's pretty much as big as my head so I think it might be a bit foolhardy because I need three colours um, to take three giant balls like this away with me when I've already got so many other projects so that one's going to take a little bit of a back seat and stay behind. When we get back from our trip, James is going to be starting a new work contract, which means probably at least for a month he's going to be away Monday to Friday. He's chosen this cardigan that he wants and um, I foolishly said I would knit it for him before realising it's colour work all over in one by one rib. So um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of regretting saying I will knit that for him but um, I'd like to get it done for him for Christmas what I'm thinking is that maybe I'll cast it on and work on it while he's away um, he keeps asking me whether I've started it or not and I keep saying no so I think maybe I can work on it in secret and um, perhaps get him to think that uh, it's not being done and maybe I can I can get it done and give it to him as a surprise so that one is now off the cards. So I think the very last project that I'm going to be taking with me in that case, um, I really, really want to um, work with some of my hand spun. So I am going to wind up this lovely skein of um, Hilltop Cloud yarn that I spun as part of Tour de Fleece. And this is the Cambrian base which is a mix of Welsh Mule and Blue Face Leicester. Can't think of my words this morning. <laughs> oh it's not a good sign for the day to come is it? So um, yeah this is the Pay de Gaulle colourway which was the um, special Tour de Fleece colourway for this year and I'm thinking about making a hat with this. I've got 200-ish meters I think. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually wind this back onto my niddy noddy. I took the original meterage um, before it had been washed which I often do and that's what I usually put on my um, hand spun project pages um, but for this one because I think my meterage is going to be fairly close to what I need for the hat um, I'm going to just rewind it onto my niddy noddy um, to get a better idea of what actual meterage I have now the twist has been set and the yarn has been washed. So um, yeah, that's the plan before I head out to work today.
So that's all done now and the yarn is wrapped entirely around my nitty noddy. Now of course I could have um, saved myself a little bit of time and completely skipped this step. If I'd have just laid my skein out on a flat surface I could have taken my tape measure to it and given myself a rough idea of the meterage. However I wanted to um, put this extra step in only because as a new spinner I'm not super confident in my spinning abilities so I just wanted to check because as I was taking it from the swift onto the nitty noddy I'm obviously putting the yarn under a bit of pressure and tugging it every now and then so I just wanted to make sure there weren't any weak spots in the yarn it's a traditional three ply so it should be fairly sturdy um, but yeah I just wanted for my own peace of mind to take that extra step um, so now I've wound it all up I'm going to count um, the loops and find out how many meters I have and just double check to make sure that it's going to be okay for the pattern I have in mind um, if not then I now have the opportunity to sort of have a look around on Ravelry and perhaps pick out another pattern. I thought I'd grab a couple of minutes while it's quiet in the shop to um, let you know the pattern that I want to knit using the hand spun yarn. I managed to count up roughly my meterage this morning before I left and I've got just under 200 meters which should be plenty to do the size that I need in my hat. So I'm going to purchase the pattern today I'm going to knit the rice slip hat by Willy Wormhead um, I've got the pattern up on my Ravelry um, so I shall just flip the camera around and show you what the hat looks like so that's the pattern as shown on Willy's project page and I think it'll be a really nice one for the hand spun um, I really like the button detail and I think that will look really cute with the sort of variegated nature of the hand spun yarn um, so yeah fingers crossed I shall be um, able to make a nice version of the rice lip and just for info there we go that's how you spell so yeah I'm thinking that maybe even when we're out and about um, visiting places and enjoying our vacation there could even be a chance uh, if I spy any shops that sell buttons perhaps I might be able to pick up a souvenir button for the hat while we're away um, so yeah I've got that in mind I don't know if that's going to be possible but I think it might be a fun detail if uh, we do stumble across anywhere uh, so we'll see I'm going to buy the pattern and get all my needles and everything ready and uh, I'm going to plan to cast on this evening so the project's on the needles and ready to go when we go away I managed to make a start on my hat last night. I cast on, uh, the pattern is knit, so you knit the brim flat and then you pick up around the brim and join for knitting in the round for the crown. And the brim's moss stitch, so I made a really good start on the band for that. I'm really enjoying working on this, as you can see. I managed quite a few inches. I meant to just cast on, do a couple of rows to get into the pattern and then put it down but uh, it was a nice easy knit so I ended up working, I don't know, six, seven inches. Uh, so that's well underway and I am, yeah, really looking forward to seeing how this one turns out. I've got a little ball of hand spun that I'm working from. I ended up uh, splitting my big braid just because I had joined it where um, when I was spinning my bobbin ran out of room. So uh, I've ended up with a little ball and a big ball. So I thought I'd start with a little ball. At some point in the not too distant future I'm going to sort of change away from these bluey purples um, into sort of some more greeny yellowy colours. Um, I'm hoping that maybe I'll make it all the way around the brim um, before the colour changes too drastically because I think that will qu look quite nice and then all the colour changing will be going on in the sort of crown of the hat so yeah we'll see this is well underway now so I'm excited to see how that grows. I've popped it in a uh, project bag that I made for myself uh, a while ago. This is an offcut of wool tweed fabric uh, that I purchased from a local fabric shop. Um, I've got my uh, cute handmade uh, sort of hand felted um, bird badge on there and I've also got my favourite little oyster catcher on there too. Um, so yeah that is now ready to come away with me. 
the one thing that I have left to do now, um, I finished blocking out my midsummer sweater. The I-cord bind offs blocked out uh, quite nicely. So there's the neck band and there's the sleeve band, but I'm still not convinced they're not gonna roll in and sort of reveal the stranded color work um, on the back. So I probably, I imagine this will probably be a case of wearing it a couple of times um, and then deciding whether I'm gonna rip back and put some ribbing on. It's Friday today and we'll be heading off um, tomorrow after I have finished work. We'll be driving up to Yorkshire to James's parents. So this is the last day I have to kind of prepare anything because as I say I'm at work all day tomorrow. So the final job on my list for my knitty projects while I'm away is just to get this back on the needles. I need to pick up all the stitches and what I would really like to do um, is knit a round or two um, to get the stitch markers back in for my pattern repeats. So that's my job for this evening and then I am all ready to go. So my craft basket ooh, woo, <laughs> is pretty much filled to the brim. <laughs> It's going to be fun to see how much I actually get done. It's meant to be raining quite a lot next week, um, so we might have plenty of time uh, just hanging out and chatting and drinking tea and crafting. <laughs> or at least I'll be crafting. Um, in my basket as well I've got my book and a couple of other bits and pieces to keep me amused. The eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed I'm not taking any crochet with me. I've been doing a fair bit of crochet uh, off camera this week for um, the group that meets in the shop on a Saturday afternoon. Uh, we've had a little bit of a sort of informal crochet along going on. So I wanted to finish my project for that. And crochet I have to be very careful of. It actually makes my wrist hurt if I do too much crochet. So I'm at that point now. I managed to get my project finished. So I will have some crochet to show you um, when I'm back and I record my next full episode. Um, but I've decided to give crochet and my wrist a rest um, for my holiday week. So yeah, I think that is everything. Um, I don't know whether you will have found anything in this episode useful or enjoyable, hopefully. Um, and... I'm going to pop this up either before I leave tomorrow or I'll see if I can figure out the YouTube scheduling thing. Uh, but that's for, for me to figure out at some point this evening. Um, it's unlikely that I'll be replying to your comments straight away next week as I'm away and I'm not sure um, what our Wi-Fi connections are going to be like and things like that. So um, I will respond to anyone who does comment on this video but probably when I'm back um, which will be the week after next. Until next time I hope you're all able to do some of the things that you enjoy. Great big woolly hugs to you all. Bye for now. <laughs>